sign that they really put their name on the national map was taking a set over Tweak at Pound. Is right. What, that was claim to fame yes. right there. And like ever since then, people re recognizing like, yo, this guy, this guy's like probably at least a top five snake in the world, not top three. Actually, fun fact, I, I, I don't exactly remember what tournament it was. It could have been Big House, it could have been Super Smash Con, but it was a, definitely a really big super major where Kronos actually took a set over Cola in that tournament. Oh, for and real? So, yeah, okay. and then Cola ended up finishing that tournament at like, like something super low, like 30 second or like something like not typical of Cola. Yeah. And of course, it was courtesy of Kronos. Yeah. And, and Kronos has done it like before. So he has a couple wins over Cola. He has a win over Tweak. Like this is a guy who has multiple top 10 wins yeah. and is easily at his peak, somebody that can contend with the best of the best that this game real. has to offer. So. For real. I was watching Wadi stream recently. Him and Kronos were doing a couple friendlies right there, bro. And like, dude, this guy adapts so well. Also, I'll be real. I don't know if it was just for the stream sake or anything. He goes for hype plays, bro. He's not just one of those snakes that will pre like that do his best at wall you out with those projectiles. That'll come, but also that forward area will go dummy off stage. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, he yeah. is most definitely a go in snake, and I think that's something that makes him so fun to watch, and and something that even got him into the, like the the nomination fight phase, or not the nomination phase, but the voting phase of Summit when he was trying yeah. to get into that. So yeah. kind of a bummer we don't get to see him there, but we definitely good, do get to see him here in Mommy's Mix Ups and Daddy's nice. Den. So I mean, look at it, already starting this set off pretty strong. Here, where does Winners' quarters, final game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Solid lead. Yes, yeah, solid start so far for this. And in a character where there's like a matchup where there's two zoners, an early lead is absolutely monstrous because you can extend that to so much extra credit if you play your cards right. With enough B reverses with the the grenade and everything, if you're able to pile up percent onto the other character, that's that's your goal right now. I mean, oh. but as we say that, the back air into the side B for si SD King gonna clutch that one out. And it, and you know what? Great stuff from them. The fact that they didn't let that stock run away from them, they were able to play calm, cool, and collected, and trap Snake back into that at disadvantage state. Absolutely, and I mean, I mean, just look at this Rob. Look at the movement. Like everything he's doing is like so safe. Mm -hmm. And then even though we started the game off at such a deficit, he's brought this back so evenly to the point where like the the the, the difference in percentage is almost negligible, if mm -hmm. there at all. Like. He yeah. is doing a great job of keeping pace and making sure that, you know, Kronos isn't able to play the game that he wants to. True. Okay, nice. Confirm with the grenade into the up air right there. Just playing a very steady game right now. Actually, not really doing uh, too many stupid options. Not really going in too off much. Ooh. Like the, ooh, 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 ooh. Almost able to confirm off the top of the C4. But just, like we said, steadily building up that percent lead right now. Okay, but this is a down throw into an up tilt. Up, and as we say that, almost an even game immediately by the Rob. Oh, no. Oh, so Yikes. Tough. I mean, that one's got to hurt, man. Looks like it air dodged a little too soon and didn't quite grab the ledge and then tried to pull a like, grenade or C4 or something like that. Mm. Ended up dying. Not what you want to see, but wow. uh, obviously, I mean, Kronos is somebody who has a super strong mental. I've seen multiple game fives from this guy that looked like they were not going well, and then just he just happened to pull it out. So, yeah. This is somebody who's known and has been tested. Oh, hold to on, be able to hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ooh, that Mark. was almost the Rob classic, bro. Might <laughs> be turning up a little bit, but Kronos going to find the down throw into forward tilt, and that is going to take the stock. So there we go. both these players at one stock apiece. Yeah, so far, super swingy game, man. Like, like both players kind of like have had the lead at different points in time right now, and but the leads have been pretty much negligible. Not really able to capitalize too much on that two uh, uh, a ton right here. But okay, as we say that. Both characters should zone each other out, doing their best to fill each other, trying to... Okay, but the double dash attack confirm are able to press Kronos, uh, able to press that into the advantage state right now. Good stuff, good stuff. Absolutely, and it's like, I mean, Mark is doing such a great job of just playing so slippery and just avoiding, you know, almost all of these grenades and doing a great job at actually not trading <gasps> two, coming in with the up air from underneath to the right where Snake was facing the other way, holding the grenade. So that yeah. was actually really smart, oh! but it's not going to be oh, oh my quite, gosh! almost not quite enough. That was so close. Mark barely surviving. I mean, both these players, like, not even 1% apart. How does it get up from here? Going to oh! get hit by the up trash anyways. <laughs> Okay, not quite able to kill though. Oh! I mean, look at the movement. Oh, boy, the Nikita. Down, get out of the missile reach. Go, go, go. Oh, the down smash. Able to catch the roll right there. And barely closing out that game one was Kronos, dude. Oh, dude, what is such a back and forth game one? I mean, just look how slippery he was to avoid that Nikita. Like, he went, Yo. burn a boost it up. <laughs> fell, <laughs> fast fell down with the Nair. Sent it right back up. And yeah. unfortunately got caught with trying to roll off the ledge with, the, you know, Kronos calling out the pack. The panic option yeah. there, so dude. I mean that was that was just hot, man. That was hot, dude. From two zoners, man. I mean that's not a kind of a get type of gameplay I was expecting. But yes, they are holding yes. forward, and I'm loving it, man. I'm okay with it. I'm cool with it. This Let's is, go. This is fantastic. More of that, dude. More of that. I'm about it. All right, give me something creative. We almost, by the way, that could have all been over if 
uh, Mark had been able to convert that zero to death we saw on that platform at that point in time. But because Kronos was able to maintain his panic options properly, he did not give Mark the advantage in that set. So now going into this game two, we, we want a little bit of an adjustment so far from Mark is King. They spent a lot of time off ledge so far uh, in the last game. I would love for him to kind of control a bit more center stage, maybe play a little bit beneath the platforms in order to zone Snake out. Yeah, and no, I would agree with that. But right now, it looks like Kronos just is kind of in charge. <gasps> and reading him going low there to avoid the Nikita and just going to find the first stock so quickly. Only 38, 69%. You know, funny number on, on Kronos here. <laughs> Not going to last long, though, unfortunately. But, I mean, Mark is really just kind of fighting for their life right now. Finally founding the down throw. Oh, what the? Wow. I mean, dude. Whoa, what? whoa, 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 whoa. What the? What just? That didn't. That did What is happening? Oh! <laughs> I what mean, kind of goofy interactions just happened, bro? I don't, I don't know, but I'm starting to think that Mark the SD King might just be a little bit of a true king. I mean, wait, just wait, I showing Mark off the crowd with those parries and then fighting, what was it, like the setting him up into the air and then the grenade exploding or the C4 exploding, killing Kronos at such a low percent, man. Like, that I, yeah, was... That was wild. I'm pretty sure that Mark is the SD King, but Kronos trying to take that title right there. Um, <laughs> 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 all right, with the up tilt, catching okay, the okay, landing I right see there. you, bro. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> catching the landing right there. And, okay, you know, this is looking like a solid lead so far from Solid Snake. But, uh, okay, using... Uh, a lot of projectiles are going so well right there for Marcus King, but reading the roll in with the obsession not able to capitalize super well. And oh, nice parry into the dash attack. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, bro. It really feels like when Kronos is in center stage, he's piling up so much more onto Marcus King than Marcus King is able to do when he's at center stage. And, and I'm sure you guys have heard it a thousand times and, and more, but like when Snake has a lead, it becomes exceedingly difficult to actually find your way back into the game because it almost seems like every option you have is is it may work but it's not but it's going to trade right yeah so you're going to end up taking more damage than he's going to lose a stock for right so exactly. it, once you once you find yourself behind against snake i mean this is just a world of hurt all over honestly bro how do you get in right now sir you got your stray hits with your your nares and everything hold on oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. This is actually, oh, there we go. The snake classic after the scrap situation, able to take the stock off the top. And I believe that's going to be Kronos taking the set 2-0. I mean, okay, was that was that up till just reaction or was this guy just